moisture inside the tank helps the composite hold its shape while it cools. At the end of the nine meter run, the plastic composite is hardened. A machine called a puller uses treads like those on an army tank to keep the long continuous plant moving. The tracks feed the composite into an annealing oven that heats it up one more time to 93 degrees. The heat bakes out any shrinkage in the board, so the decking won't shrink later in the sun. After the plastic pellets were melted, the long plank is solid and ready to feed into a saw that chops one plank into individual boards. The saw can be set to cut boards of any length. The planks are hollow inside, which helps cut down on the weight. After the boards are cut, they pass through one last machine that squeezes them under a rapidly spinning steel brush to scratch a wood-like texture into the surface. As the finished planks reach the end of the line, they slide across a roller that automatically stacks them up on pallets. Before they're shipped, random samples are tested for strength and durability. A press bears down with more and more pressure until the board snaps. These boards can take more than 